In this video, we are going to look now how to work with name ranges with formulas. Let's see those one by one. Now the precondition for this video is you need to go for name range topic. Still for study purpose, I have just given one example here. On your screen, if you see, these are the formulas which are going to work now. So more specifically, I can call it as a functions. The data is given here as text and numbers. Now, if I want some of those numbers here in this cell, I just first need to give a name range to this area. How do I give a name ranges? I'll select the numbers and I can just go to this area and I can just type the name over here. So I'll just click on this name box and I'll type here numbers. So this area henceforth will be called as numbers. Similarly, I'll select this text which is Monday to Sunday and I'll give them as some name over here. Let's say I'll give the name as text. Enter. Text. So now let's see how to work on this functions. I'll go with the sum functions. The traditional method was you used to calculate as equal to sum range from let's say C1 to C10. Now in this function, how we are going to use it equal to sum bracket open. And I want the numbers from let's say I want from D3 to D9, D3 to D9. So instead of D3 to D9, I can call it as numbers. So I'll type equal to sum and I'll give as numbers. Now, if you see there are two options given, the first option is given as the name range to bring that name range in the function, you can use the shortcut as tab. So I'll press tab from my keyboard, you see this blue line which is selected. So now some of this numbers, the answer will be given in this location. So I'll just close the bracket and press enter. See, you see the answer is 280. Let me just verify whether the answer is correct or not. So if I select this area, so if I select this option, At the bottom taskbar, if you see the sum is given as 280. So the answer is absolutely correct. Let's go with the next function, which is minimum. So I'll just type the same function here, equal to minimum bracket open. And I'll type the name range that is numbers and close the bracket. Similarly, I'll go with the maximum. Numbers, close the bracket. So you see the minimum is in this place is 10 and the maximum is 70. Purposely I've written those numbers which are easy to find out what is the answer for this one. Next we have something average. So I'll type here equal to average and I'll type here numbers and close the bracket. So the average for this one is 40. Next we have something count. So I'll count this numbers, count numbers and close the bracket. So the count is total 7. There's one more formula function which is called as count A. What count A says is count A is used for counting non-empty cells. So what I'll do is I'll try to uh, try to use the count function on this place for the text. So I'll just write here dummily. So I'll just write here equal to count bracket open and I'll select this area. This area is also known as text. So this area is also known as text and I'll press enter. So you see the answer as zero. Now why the answer is displayed as zero? Because count function is only used for numbers. I repeat here, I'll just write down here, equal to count, bracket open, and I'll select Monday to Sunday, and I'll close the bracket. So when I press enter, the answer I'm expecting is seven, from Monday to Sunday, but answer I've got as zero. The reason is, count formula is only used for numbers. It is not used for text. So what is the function which is used for text? The function is count A. So here you go. So I'll type here a function as equal to count A, bracket open, and I'll select from Monday to Sunday, or I can just write as text, and I'll press enter. So you see the answer is given as seven. So count A is used for counting non-empty cells. How about empty cells? We have a function known as count blank. So I'll type a function as count blank from Monday to Sunday, which is absolutely nothing, which is zero. So there are no blank cells, count blank, and I'll type here text. So you see in this area, there is no blank cells. So when I press enter, it is saying as zero. By default tomorrow, if the text gets deleted, let's say Friday gets deleted, you can see the answer automatically changes. That is one. Similarly, if I delete this Wednesday, the answer automatically becomes as two and count will become as, count A will become as five. Let's go for the next one. We have small and large, which is rarely used, but it is of much user. In this, if you see the numbers, the minimum value is 10 and the maximum is 70. 
what is the second minimum value what is the third minimum value so you cannot use this functions as minimum maximum but you have to use the other option as small and large let's see what is that in this numbers if i want to find out the third smallest number which is 30 third smallest number so i'll go in this place and i'll type here a equal to small the first option it says the first attribute it says array comma k array means the value or the name range which i have given so the name range i remember is numbers comma and which value you want i want the third smallest number so i'll type here 3 so expected answer is 30 when i press enter you can see 30 similarly if i want the third largest number in that name range third largest number is first is 70 60 and 50 so third largest number is 50 so i'll type here equal to large equal to large and I'll select here numbers comma 3 so third largest number in this area is 50 so when I press enter you can see the answer is given as 50 now these are the name range I've used I have purposely written as functions with this name range what is the benefit of this if you go to some other sheet and if you type the function you just remember the name range you don't have to go back to the sheet and select the range for example if I'm in sheet 1 and I just want to type here a function equal to sum and I want sum of those numbers. Imagine I don't have a name range and I have multiple sheets. Let's say I have 50 sheets and in that sheets there are various types of numbers given. So first thing is I need to find a sheet. Second is in that sheet I have to find the column or the area which I have to select. So imagine it becomes very lengthy. So equal to sum I will go to that cell sheet and select those numbers. So you understand how lengthy it is instead of that what we can do is I'll press enter instead of that what we can do is I can just type the formula here equal to sum bracket open and I can just type here as numbers and close the bracket so my time will be saved in searching the area which I want to sum of second option is you just have to remember the name range so the moment you press enter and you'll get the answer for this one so I hope you have understood all the options in this video